What's going on everyone, Rich Lee here, and today I'm taking a look at career mode in the year 2031. In my last video, I simmed forward to the point of Messi's retirement, and he finally decided to call it a day at the age of 40. After 11 seasons, he decided enough is enough, and at that point, he had one pace and one agility. It was pretty ridiculous, and if you did miss that video, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. And if you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe. There'll be plenty more videos like this one, and also, of course, if you do go on to enjoy it, please leave the video a like as well. Anyway, though, as I was saying before, today we're taking a look at career mode in 2031. I've kept an eye on every player with 90 potential or above, so I've got all of the best players in the game on the shortlist or in the team that I've signed, so... Yeah, let's get into it, and let's take a look at all of the best players in the game in the year 2031. First of all then, we've got David De Gea, and he's still a Manchester United player at the age of 40. He's 75 rated, and he's still got 84 reactions. Oblak is still at Atletico Madrid, 82 rated now at 38, 81 reactions, and to be honest, he still looks like a pretty good keeper. Courtois is now at Watford, 79 rated at the age of 39. Patricio Juarez is the Geronimo Rulli regen and he looks pretty solid to be honest. 84 kicking, 81 reflexes, only 72 reactions but check this out. He's got two star skill moves so he can do ball rolls and everything. What more could you really want from a goalkeeper? And as I go through all the rest of the goalkeepers as well, you'll see that pretty much all of them, I think, have two-star skills. Yeah, the Petr Cech regen has got two-star skills as well, and he looks incredible, to be honest. 99 kicking. In fact, the only goalkeeping stat that isn't in the 90s is his positioning. And he's also got 86 reactions as well. 94 rated at 29, and yeah, Petr Cech's regen just looks like an absolute monster. Luca Erso is Buffon's regen and again looks like a very good player. 96 kicking, again shoddy positioning, that seems to be a trait of all of these goalkeepers. They have terrible positioning, I don't know what that's about but there you go. Let's take a look again and yep, sure enough once again he's got two star skill moves. Joe Hogan is Joe Hart's regen, again his positioning is his lowest stat but it's still not bad is it? 80 positioning. 99 kicking, 87 reactions, 91 reflexes, and again, two-star skill moves. So there you go, six foot tall. Joe Hart's regen looks very solid. Benjamin Spora is Handanovic's regen, and again, looks like a very good keeper. Once again, positioning hasn't really improved massively. It's only 79 rated. His kicking, though, is 99. He's got 83 reactions, 74 strength, and... Yeah, once again, we have another goalkeeper with two-star skill moves. And look how tall he is as well. Six foot six. He would be absolutely brilliant in the game. Vice is Ralph Farman's regen. 75 positioning. Again, I don't know what it is with the positioning. It just seems a bit broken in this game. Kicking always goes up to 99 pretty much. And positioning remains fairly trash. Anyway, though, he's got 92 reactions. Very solid stats. 89 rated. And again, two-star skill moves. It's just becoming predictable at this point. All of the goalkeepers have two-star skills. Yet some of the outfield players only have one-star skills. Go figure. Anyway though, moving on, we've got Alban Lafont. He's now at Chelsea and 32 years old. 89 rated, very good goalkeeper. Malang Sar is now at Juventus. Starts out at Nice, I believe it is. A very solid centre-back, 88 rated at 32, still holding firm. And he's got amazing stats, to be honest. Aerial threat and tackling specialities. No traits, but yeah, you can play centre-back or left-back, and he's a very good player. Moving on, then, we've got Thomas Phillip, and he's Mustafi's regen. He's got some brilliant stats on him. Aerial threat and strength specialities. No traits, but three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves, and low-high work rates. Six foot three as well, so pretty tall. Marcelo's regen ended up at Barcelona. Bit of a traitor, but never mind. Looks like a very solid player. 86 rated at 28. He's a speedster, no traits. Two star weak foot, three star skills, and he's got low medium work rates. And then we've got Etienne Briancon. I thought it was Patrice Evra's regen, but as you'll see here, he can play left back or right back, so... Not Patrice Evra's regen, as he'd then be able to play left back or left mid. But 
Yeah, I'm not too sure whose regen he is, to be honest. But six foot five, very good player. 99 ball control, 99 crossing, 99 heading accuracy, 99 marking. Very solid physicals as well. Looks like a fantastic player, to be honest. He's got the speedster and aerial threat specialities. And although I'm not too sure whose regen he is, he looks fantastic. And then we've got Timothy Fosu Mensa, still 86 rated at the age of 33 and has some very solid stats. Usmane Dembele is at Manchester United as well, 34 years old now and he's got an 87 rating. Whilst Pulisic is also now at Manchester United and once again looks like a very good player. Crociata is Verratti's regen, he's at Hull now which is a bit of a letdown for him I'd imagine. No one really wants to play for Hull, he's an acrobat. And he's got two-star weak foot and three-star skill moves. Very solid player. And I'm sure at some point he will move on to another club. Blanco is Iniesta's regen. 89 rated at 28. And yeah, what can I really say about this player? He's got so many good stats. 99 agility. 99 ball control. Dribbling. Long passing. He's just all-round brilliant, to be honest. He's got the dribbler and acrobat specialities. And... A five-star weak foot as well, so yeah, absolutely brilliant midfielder. Just like the original Iniesta, to be honest. Jonathan Mendy is Paul Pogba's regen, and again, looks like a very solid player. Can't finish, which is a bit of a letdown, but yeah, other than that, some very solid stats. 84 dribbling, 86 ball control, 92 short passing, and keep in mind that he's only 20 years old, so he will get a lot better. He's already a speedster and an acrobat. And he's got a 5-star weak foot and 3-star skill moves. Paolo Manzano is Arturo Vidal's regen. They had Luka Modric at Bayern originally and I'd signed the Vidal regen. So I did a bit of a swap deal, sent him back to Bayern and we got Luka. So I was pretty happy with that one. This guy looks like a good player though. He's got 91 short passing, 90 long passing, some very nice physicals there as well. He's a dribbler, free kick specialist, acrobat. And he's got a one-star weak foot and four-star skill moves. Moving on then, we've got the Tony Kroos regen. 88 rated at 24. Playing for Dortmund and again, looks like a very solid player. He's a dribbler, acrobat and he's got three-star, three-star. Renato Sanchez is now 33 years old and an 84 rating. Whilst Jan Lasoga is the Marco Royce regen and he looks phenomenal to be honest. He's a speedster, dribbler and crosser. And he's got two-star weak foot and four-star skill moves. Unfortunately, though, he's got low, low work rate. So that's a bit disappointing. But nonetheless, he looks like a very good player. Jerome Jim is the Kevin De Bruyne regen. He's playing for Middlesbrough. 84 rated. And again, look at those physicals. 94 pace, 99 agility, only 62 finishing. But very good passing. And he's got speedster, dribbler and acrobat. Two-star weak foot and three-star skill moves. Kion Bay Park is a Korean player. I'm not too sure whose regen he is, but he can play cam, left mid or right mid. He's 29 years old, 88 rated and looks fantastic. Speedster, dribbler, playmaker and an acrobat. And yeah, he's got five-star weak foot and four-star skill moves. So basically, he's an absolute monster in this game. Connor Kitchen is the Wayne Rooney regen and... He signed for Liverpool. So not only did Cristiano Ronaldo go there, as you'll see in a minute, but Wayne Rooney as well. He started out at Bournemouth, he moved on to Liverpool, and he's now 29 years old and 84 rated. He's only got 62 finishing, but some of those stats are absolutely brilliant. And as you can see there, he's a speedster, dribbler and acrobat. And he's got a freestyle weak foot and freestyle skill moves as well. Guion Williams is the Gareth Bale regen and he's got 90 finishing at 22 years old. He's also got 99 pace, 99 agility, some very nice technicals all around to be honest. And he looks absolutely phenomenal. He's still a young player yet he's absolutely brilliant. He's a speedster, dribbler, acrobat, clinical finisher and a complete forward. And he's got a freestyle weak foot and four star skill moves. As I was saying before, he's still young, he's absolutely brilliant and as you'll see in a moment, he's got better finishing than most of the regen strikers in this game. Such as Lewandowski's regen. 
His finishing isn't bad though, to be fair. I think he's got the best finishing of any regen striker. It's 85 rated. He's also got 99 ball control, 99 dribbling, 99 pace, 99 agility. Ridiculous stats all round. 98 shot power as well. And yeah, he's a poacher, a speedster, a dribbler, distant shooter, acrobat, and a complete forward as well. He's got a two-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, and medium-medium work rates. Moving on then, we've got Marcus Rashford, and he now plays for Manchester City, so yet another traitor in this list. Whilst Mbappe Lottin is at Hanover, Jorge Diaz is the Sergio Aguero regen, and as you might have noticed already, he's got 71 finishing, which for a 91-rated striker is just absolutely abysmal. I don't know what it is with this game, but... The one stat that you want to develop on a striker just doesn't. A 91 rated striker should not have 71 finishing. He's a speedster, dribbler, distant shooter, crosser, free kick specialist and an acrobat, yet he can't finish. There you go. He's got two star weak foot, three star skill moves and high low work rates. Karen Bouchard is the Griezmann regen and once again, not the best finishing in the world but... At least it's better than Sergio Aguero's. He's got a 72 finishing and he's still only 21 years old as well. Nice stats there, including ball control and dribbling of 99. In addition to 99 balance as well. He's a speedster, dribbler and an acrobat. And as you can see there, he's got two star weak foot and two star skill moves. Harry Kane is now at Aston Villa. He's 37 years old and he's only got 18 sprint speed. Gabriel Jesus is still at Manchester City, 34 years old, and he's now got an 87 rating. Whilst Chiki Zola is Dybala's regen, playing for Middlesbrough, 76 rated, and look at that finishing, 59 finishing. And as I was saying before, the finishing doesn't really develop in this game, so even at full potential, he's probably only going to have about 70 finishing or something, just like Aguero. And that's just broken, to be honest. Anyway though, he's a speedster, dribbler and an acrobat. He's got a 5 star weak foot, but he can't even do ball rolls. He's a worse skiller than all of the goalkeepers. Paolo Medel is yet another traitor. He's the Alexis Sanchez regen and yet he's playing for Spurs. He's got 78 finishing, 99 dribbling, 99 ball control, very nice physicals. He's a speedster and a dribbler and he's got a 2 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves. Joel Barth is Ibra's regen and he kept becoming homesick so I stuck him on the transfer list and he moved on to Germany to play for Bayern. He's got 99 ball control, 99 dribbling, 99 pace, 81 finishing, only 69 heading accuracy though which for Ibra's regen doesn't seem quite right. Anyway though he's a speedster, dribbler, distant shooter, crosser and an acrobat and Ibra finally got his 5 star skills back. He's only 5 foot 10 but at least he's got his skills. Ian Acho is still at Manchester City, 84 rated now at the age of 34. Jens Diom is Eden Hazard's regen, and once again, he's a winger with ridiculous finishing. All of the wingers have incredible finishing, yet the strikers can't finish at all. 91 finishing on him, very nice physicals, and yeah, he's a speedster, dribbler, distant shooter, acrobat, clinical finisher, and a complete forward. He's only got a one-star weak foot, but at least he's got three-star skill moves. It could be worse. Neymar's had a bit of a fall from grace, and he's now playing for Watford. 78 rated at 18, and he's already got 82 finishing. He's an acrobat, and he's got three-star skills and a one-star weak foot. This guy is Coutinho's regen, and again, pretty solid finishing considering he's only a 76 rating. Nice physicals as well. He's an acrobat. And again, he's only got one star skill move. So unfortunately, Coutinho's regen is yet another outfield player that can't even do ball rolls. Finally then, we've got Ronaldo's regen and I was so annoyed with this one. He decided he wanted to leave the club and the first club to come in for him was Liverpool. They signed him for 58.5 million and as you can see there, he's worth 85.5 million. So... The board messed up completely on this one. Not only did they sell Ronaldo's regen to Liverpool, but they barely got any money for him either. He's got 99 finishing, incredible stats all round to be honest, 94 rated. He's a poacher, speedster, dribbler, acrobat, clinical finisher and a complete forward. 
and he's got 3 star skill moves and a 2 star weak foot. Moving on to the players in the Real Madrid squad now then and first of all we've got Manuel Neuer's regen. He's 91 rated at 28, has 99 reactions, 99 kicking and of course his positioning is by far his weakest stat. And just like all of the other regen keepers in the game, he's got 2 star skill moves. He's also got a 4 star weak foot and he's 6 foot 4 so yeah looks like a very solid keeper. Donnarumma is now 90 rated at 32 and also looks very good. Jonas Framberger is Philipp Lahm's regen and he's 92 rated at 29. His specialities include speedster, aerial threat and tackling and he's got a 3 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves as well. He's 6 foot 2 and he's got a lot of very good stats. Pereira is Diego Godin's regen, 90 rated at 29. Again, very good physically, good tackling ability as well. He's got aerial threat, tackling and strength and he's got one star skill moves. Again, why is it that outfield players can't do ball rolls yet all of the keepers can? This game just makes no sense whatsoever. At least he's 6 foot 6 though. Spiranya is Koscielny's regen and he's got absolutely insane physicals and incredible tackling ability as well. His specialities are speedster tackling and strength and... Oh, he's at the other end of the spectrum. He's got four star skill moves. That seems somewhat wasted on a centre back, but there you go. He's also 5 foot 10, so a bit on the short side. Denise, as some of you pointed out to me in the last video, is probably Thiago Silva's regen and... He is now 92 rated at the age of 28. Looks like a brilliant player. He's got aerial threat, tackling and strength as his specialities. 2 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot and he's 6 foot 2. Samedo is Pepe's regen. 89 rated at 30 and again looks like a very solid centre back. Tackling and strength specialities. 3 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves. Rafael Varane is still playing for Real Madrid at the age of 38. And as you can see there, he's dropped down to a 76 rating now. Whilst Eric Bailly is on the decline as well, 37 years old. He's still not too bad though, 81 rated and he's still got 70 acceleration. Christian Blauensteiner is David Alaba's regen and he's already 80 rated at the age of 19. His stats are absolutely insane already, he's a speedster, he's got a 4 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves and... Yeah, as I say, still only a teenager, and yet he's absolutely brilliant. Rieksman is Robin's regen, brought him back to Madrid. He's got 95 finishing, some insane stats. He's a poacher and a dribbler. Freestyle skill moves, freestyle weak foot. Low high work rates, though. That is not good for a winger at all. He's 5'6", though, so with that pace and that height, he should be incredibly speedy. Tin Maric is Luka Modric's regen, and... He's got 80 finishing, which is better than a lot of the regen strikers. He's 90 rated at 27. He's a speedster and an acrobat. Two star skill moves, four star weak foot and looks like a very solid player. Kovacic is still at Madrid, 37 years old now and 73 rated. Martial is 35 now and dropped down to an 80. Rob Stokes, I believe, is Steven Ireland's regen. He got all the way up to a 92. And he's still improving. He looks absolutely insane. He's a speedster, dribbler and an acrobat. Three star weak foot, three star skill moves. And yeah, as I say, I'm pretty sure he's Steven Ireland's regen. He's got the same positioning. He's from the Republic of Ireland. And yeah, just look at those stats. Juan Puerta is the James regen. And he's now 84 rated at 21. 99 pace, 99 agility, speedster, acrobat. And he's got four star skill moves. And a two star weak foot as well. Whilst Tenor is the David Silva regen, only got 61 finishing, but other than that, looks like a very good player. He's a speedster, playmaker, and an acrobat. He's got three star skill moves, five star weak foot, and yeah, looks very solid. Moving on, then we've got Deli Alley, now 35 years old and down to an 85 rating. Whilst Facundo Villarreal is the Messi regen, and Look at those stats, he's 24 years old, he's 92 rated, unfortunately he's got a weird alien face, but yeah, let's ignore that fact, he looks brilliant, poacher, speedster, dribbler, acrobat, clinical finisher, and a complete forward, and yeah, his skill moves and weak foot combination are pretty brilliant as well, 5 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, 
arguably, Facundo Villarreal is better than the real Messi was. He started out at Real Valladolid. He came through at the age of 21 with 98 finishing and he's just got better and better. I signed him for this final season as Real Valladolid got relegated and to be honest, it just didn't seem quite right to have Messi's regen playing in the Spanish second division. That would just be ridiculous. Anyway though, moving on, we've got the Luis Suarez regen. Teamed up with Messi once again, 93 rated at the age of 29. Very good player, speedster, dribbler, distance shooter, free kick specialist and an acrobat. Free star weak foot, free star skill moves and looks pretty brilliant. Horda Sigporsen is an Icelandic player and I was looking through all of the Icelandic strikers on So FIFA and I'm pretty sure that Sigporsen is the regen of Sigporsen. He's got 99 ball control, 99 dribbling, 99 pace, 99 agility, 83 finishing. He's a speedster, dribbler, distance shooter and an acrobat. And wow, once again, one star skill moves. Really EA, why are all of the goalkeepers better than some of the outfield players at skills? That makes no sense whatsoever. And yeah, as I was saying before about the finishing on strikers as well. 83 finishing for an 89 rated striker isn't exactly great. This game is just broken in so many ways and it frustrates the hell out of me to be honest. Ebang is a Bamiyang's regen and again look at that finishing. 78 finishing on an 89 rated striker. It's just dumb. He's a speedster though, a dribbler, distance shooter, crosser, free kick specialist and an acrobat. And he's got 4 star skill moves and a 3 star weak foot. Mayoral is still at Real Madrid, 34 years old now and down to an 83 rating. And that is everyone in the Real Madrid squad. And I'll take a look at all of the division tables now then, just to show you how everyone's doing. Banfield have got the most points in Argentina. Brisbane Roar are the best team in Australia. Salzburg have won the title in Austria. Standard Liège won it in Belgium. In Brazil, they've only played six games, so you can't really take much from that table. In Chile, CD O'Higgins are top of the table. In Colombia, it's Milanarios. In Denmark, it's Alborg. Liverpool are now the best team in England. I had to do a double take there as I wasn't expecting that, but there you go. Monaco have won the title in France. Bayern are still the best team in Germany. Juventus, still the best team in Italy. In Japan, Gambro Saka have got the most points. Ulsan Hyundai have got the most points in Korea. Pachuca have got the most points in Mexico. Ajax are the champions of the Netherlands. Rosenborg have won it in Norway. Leisure Warsaw have done the job in Poland. Done the job, I don't know why I said that, but there you go. Benfica are the champions of Portugal. Shamrock Rovers have smashed it in Ireland. In Russia, Ruben Kazan have won the title. In Saudi Arabia, Al Hilal are the best team. In Scotland, Rangers have overtaken Celtic just about and they've claimed the title there. Real Madrid are the team that I was managing, so they've obviously absolutely smashed it in Spain. Gothenburg have won the title in Sweden. Basel are the best team in Switzerland. Fenerbahce are the champions of Turkey. And finally, LA Galaxy are currently leading the way in the United States. These are the teams that made it to the last 16 in the Champions League. And Real Madrid ultimately went on to win it. Whilst over in the Europa League, AC Milan beat Stoke City 2-1 in the final. And after putting in 15 seasons of hard work, at the end of the 15 years you met with this message. Dear Mr Lee, the board wanted to congratulate you not only on your work with this club, but your career as a whole. We wish you the best of luck in your future endeavours and we'll make sure that there's always a seat reserved for you. You hit advance, you're shown your career summary, you hit advance again and you're taken out of the game. That is it. Great. Anyway though, thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, smash that like button if you've not done so already, and I'll catch you again next time.